He just wants to be blonde. The flavors are very good. We're not bleaching our dog. I don't recommend the bathing suits at all. We're gonna do like cheetah spots. No. You happy? Can we bleach his tip? The tip of his tail? Hello you guys, welcome to a new vlog. I don't know what day you're seeing this, but today is Monday. I kind of had myself a busy morning. I woke up and I did makeup and hair for a bride who was going to the courthouse to get married today. It took like two hours, so I am now getting into my car because I have to go do some running around for the tattoo shop. I apologize, you guys are not on a tripod because Tyler took it out, but I've had like a pretty productive morning. After I leave the tattoo shop, I'm going to my sister's new house because they got in from New York at 3 in the morning. Um, and so everybody's kind of like popping up over there. But I wanted to get um, her and my niece. Um, I have a, how old is she? Nine, I think. I have a nine-year-old niece. And so I wanted to get her and um, my sister some flowers. Like just for like, um, you know, happy moving day blah 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 i'm probably gonna get like a candle for my sister or something just like a little house warming not really house warming but you know what i mean like a little home welcome home uh type thing so um, i know tyler said they need like cling wrap <clears throat> so i'm gonna get cling wrap some snacks fries or fries chips drinks i don't even know what day of the week it is wednesday i think um, and i'm about to make my coffee how was your Valentine's Day if you chose if you chose to celebrate it? Ours was pretty chill to be honest. I had to go to the tattoo shop in the morning. I edited videos all day. Me and Tyler grabbed stuff for dinner, which it was our first year ever not going out. I don't know why, I just wasn't in the mood to go out to the restaurant. So I made wings and mashed potatoes. The mashed potatoes came out so good. Um, I air fried some chicken wings. Uh, made some mashed potatoes, like some cheesy mashed potatoes with cream cheese and um, a salad and lit candles and I put on jazz music and was just chilled. I'm officially out of pods. This is my last pod, so I need to pick up pods today from like Target or something. What's your deal? Relax. Get to go outside? Outside? We have to go outside? Tyler was already using his coffee warmer thing this morning and he was like, oh my god, I kept my coffee so hot. I'm like, yeah, they're game changing. I'm gonna go sit outside for a little. Just cause it's not super hot yet. Are you coming or what? Come on. But yeah, we are looking at more and more houses. It's pretty stressful. It's pretty stressful. And now I understand when people are like, oh my God, it's so stressful, blah, blah, blah. And we haven't even like really started. We're having a dilemma where we're needing to choose either have the actual physical house that we want and not be in the area that we want or stay in the area and sacrifice the type of house. And our number one was always the location. Like we really, you guys know, we really, really want to stay downtown as close to downtown as possible. But you guys, the houses downtown are so expensive with no nothing they're not modernized at all which i don't even need a modern house because we want to renovate 
it's like almost like unlivable, like hideous. No pool, no garage. And just because it's downtown, it's like $800,000. And we're like, like this doesn't even have a pool. And for me, like my biggest non-negotiable outside of location is the pool. I'm not getting a house that doesn't have a pool. We're like, we're just not doing it. Like it's so hot here and we spend so much time at home that in the summers we don't do anything because it's so hot that being outside you're either going to a pool or you're not doing anything like you're staying inside because it's outrageously hot you guys like if you don't live in florida then you you don't know but it's hot and humid like i know there's i know it gets hot a lot of places but the humidity here is unlike anything i have ever experienced ever it is so humid and it'll be like 102 but the humidity will be at 85 percent and it's like wet outside it's disgusting it's i say it all the time don't come to florida in the summer don't do it come around now early spring and then like october that's when it's like beautiful summer in florida no absolutely not and it rains every single day leonard we need a pool like that's just what it is it's just what it is and because i spend a lot of time at home and i know that once we get our house we're going to spend a lot of a lot of time at home even more time i want to have everything so that we don't have to leave to get something that we want the houses that we saw the other day they're about 10 minutes away from downtown so it's it's not like it's ridiculously far it's very very close not the area that i would want to live in there's nothing wrong with the area it's just not the neighborhood that i want to be in but the houses are exactly what we want fireplace wood burning fireplace garage backyard pool we're, we're kind of trying to navigate that now tyler is doing his taxes like he has to submit all of his tax information so that the loan officer can update all of his information hopefully by the end of this week and then next week we can start actually going in and looking at houses you guys haven't seen leonard in a few days are you okay No, no, do not start whining. He wants to go for a WA, okay? So that's just kind of been the update there. Until we start actually looking, it's just all kind of like virtual right now. Like we're just looking at houses on Zillow, Trulia, Realtor.com. In, in our area, it's so funny, we were looking yesterday. In our area, there is one house with a pool for sale. One, one, in our budget one house and then zooming out a little bit like for a bigger general area there's four houses total for sale so it's slim pickings if we get out of this area completely if we get out of orlando or like you know this very central location there's plenty of houses but i'm, I'm not going all the way over there I'm not going to Kissimmee, I'm not going to St. Cloud, I'm not going to Lake Nona, I'm not going to Point Siena, I'm not going nowhere. I'm staying my ass right here in Orlando. Hello Fresh is here. Let me grab it. I do not remember what's in here. Okay. At all. Alright, we got flautas. We got barbecue booth beef bowls. These look delicious. And some Indian style chicken curry. Delish. So I'm just gonna make myself an omelet, so I'm not gonna record it because that's not very fun to watch. Okay, so I took a shower and I'm going through my bathing suits right now just to see what I have because I don't really remember <laughs> what I have and I'm just like pulling some out look at this beautiful color from klc nyc like this is obviously my color like obsessed so i have this one i'm just like trying to see like what my inventory is of <clears throat> swimwear um i know i have plenty tons that i haven't even worn but kind of just wanting to see see what like look at how perfect this matches like that's stunning so that's going to be like one whole situation and then I have little bags that they come in too. I have another one that's like a hot pink. Where is 
I have this drawer. Look at this. All swimsuits. Like, I went on a swimsuit frenzy. Frenzy. A couple years ago. <clears throat> This is the same bathing suit that I got in blue. I got in the pink. Because this is called the Iris. Look at how gorgeous this pink color is. You guys, I have so many bathing suits. It's actually outrageous. Okay, so I've tried on a handful of bathing suits and I just really feel like I need to go through my swimsuit drawer and purge it again because I don't even know what's in here and it is insane. I haven't opened this drawer since before we moved here. I think the last time I opened this was when we unpacked. Um, so I need to see what I have in here as far as like cover-ups. Like, I know I have these, which I'm definitely going to keep. These are from BNC. I have it in black and in white, and these are, like, the perfect go-with-everything cover-ups. And then I have, like, all of my gooseberry swimsuits come in, like, this really cute black mesh pouch, which is really good for traveling. Like, I feel like I need to wear this with a one-piece, or with a two-piece. So this I'm going to keep. So I'm about to make myself some lunch because I'm getting a little hungry. It's 1.30 and I think I want to make a label because I bought all the stuff for a label. You need arugula, you need cherry tomatoes, you need avocado, you need Sriracha, both of these two. You need cheese, which I might just use like a sprinkle of this. I usually use Parmesan, but I don't have Parmesan right now. And you're supposed to use an egg, and you're supposed to use a little bit of rice. So I'm trying to figure out if I want to make rice or not. But I think instead of an egg, I'm going to use this battered halibut. I only have two little pieces left. Yeah, so I think I'm just gonna use this up. And I'll show you guys how I make it. We have the AC on, so now I'm freezing. But filling the base with arugula, okay? The entire base. So I like lots of it. I was gonna make some rice, but I'll save the rice. I have been making rice for dinner, so I'll save the rice for dinner. So the entire bottom. We have grape tomatoes, and what you're gonna do is cut some up and put them in a bowl and season them. I am just cutting them in half. Take a little tiny drizzle of olive oil. I'm gonna take some salt.
exciting to watch, but it's fine. So I'm gonna do half of a half, so I'm gonna do about a quarter of an avocado. Actually, no, I'm gonna do the whole thing. Here's how it's looking right now. And I am just taking basically a drizzle of the sauce, which is a tablespoon of mayo and then, whoa, as much sriracha as you like, which I like sriracha. So just putting it all on there. Here is lunch and this is 360 calories. Yum. I was gonna add rice, but I don't feel like making rice twice in the day. So there's that. So I just got back from Target. I went on a really fast run, like very quick. I only got two things. I got these. We're gonna see how these work. These are espresso roasts. Again, quick. I just went fast because it's right there. And then I bought a pack of chicken, diced chicken breast, just to have. That's what I bought. And I think I'm honestly just gonna sit in the backyard and chill with Lenny for a little bit. Um, Tyler left to work. So I'm just gonna relax. I feel bad, like I haven't had anything to vlog about because life has been on the slower end the last couple of days. And I don't know, I just haven't feel like there's been, haven't been feeling like there's anything interesting to vlog about. So I'm sorry if my Here's what the pods look like, which is good. This is a shot, a single shot. Normally I do a double shot, but this is fine. I think because my mind is just like so caught up in like house, 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 like we might be able to get a house like really soon. <clears throat> That's all my brain can like focus on right now. I'm gonna put on like some shorts or something and just rearrange the backyard maybe i'll show you guys that um i think i want to rearrange the placement of how everything is lenny do you want to go outside and play huh you want to play do you want to play you want to go play lenny okay we're gonna go play we're gonna play he gets very excited he play for him means like the pool I'm not filling up his pool right now because he'll be a hot mess and I have to be ready to give him a bath, give him a bath whenever he goes in the pool because he gets crazy, he runs around in the dirt. Like it's fine, it's super fun for him. Get down. It's super fun for him, but we're only gonna be outside for like a little while, so I don't wanna do all that for just no. Come on. Let's go outside. Come on, outside. Come on, crazy doll. Come on. This dog is crazy. Right now, I have the seating over here, and I kind of think I'm gonna change it. I wanna put it over there and bring the chair over here. Lenny, stop.
Okay, so I think I'm gonna leave it like this. I need to get an umbrella. I already found one on Amazon that I want. And then I have the lounger over here. I also need to get a new hammock, which I found the exact same one on Amazon. And I found a couple others that I like. Hey you guys, it looks like I'm going to the beach, but I'm not. I have on a little bikini top um, and I'm about to sit outside. I'm letting my laptop charge up a little bit because it is absolutely beautiful outside. I have been um, editing and like submitting content for people. Um, and I'm starting to get hungry. I ate at like 11, so I'm just hungry. I have this, uh, it's like a highlighter yellow, well like pale highlighter yellow bikini on from Meshki. Do, I don't recommend their bathing suits at all, um, but I have them, so I'm gonna wear them. And I think I'm gonna just heat up some food from yesterday. Oh, I also have on my linen pants from Dish. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna heat up some food because I'm pretty hungry. It is sunny and like it's hot but it's not humid so i'm like you know what i'm gonna let my laptop charge so that i can bring it outside so that i can keep working and i'm just gonna finish my day tanning in the sun guys so i just finished eating and um tyler got a haircut and wants me to lighten his hair again i wonder if he wants me to do the pink or let me ask him. Babe. <coughs> you want to do the pink again or just bleach it? For now, just the bleach. Okay. okay. Grab my stuff. And that's what I'm about to do. And then I'm going to go back sitting outside. But I figured I'd vlog it. I'm like, this is good vlog content. Babe, you can come. You want me to bleach every like your whole head, or just the hair that's here? I mean, just the you, you, like there's there's nothing here, so like from here, uh, you know, just the top. Yeah, there. like where there's actually hair. Yeah. You said it burned. No, it's gonna burn as it processes. Oh. Don't Jump like that! You scared the shit out of me. Tyler's hair color is goals because his hair is so ashy already. It's like a flat. That's cold. I mean, it's uh, it's not supposed to be warm. Don't worry, it'll be nice and toasty once it starts processing. But his hair, like, it's so ashy that when I bleach it, it's like white, like hair goals. You're supposed to be grinding it into my pores. I'm not grinding it into your pores. I'm. You want spots all over your head? You probably wouldn't even be mad at that. This feels like you're scalping me. I mean, if we do the pink, we're gonna do like cheetah spots. No, I'm not doing that. Why not? Because I don't know how to do cheetah spots. They didn't teach me that in cosmetology school. You just paint a little. Like, oh, okay. Spot. That's how I do it. Yeah. I mean, duh. <laughs> duh. Or we could just paint 
paint spots everywhere and then go back and just paint the center of it. Re bleach the, just the center of it. So it'll be like, you know. No. <clears throat> Here's his before. We'll check that in about 15 minutes. So we'll check at 3.20. Um, I don't think you'll need more processing time than that, but we'll look at it and see. Okay. Yeah, it's yellow, yellow. So we're going to tone. Someone's always home with you, you get to play outside all the time. You made so much. I don't have that much. Why do you look worried? I don't. This isn't gonna burn. This is, I mean, it's gonna be cold, but it's not gonna, you're, when I'm not lifting it anymore, I'm just, I mean, you know color theory, you're an artist, so. Nice and delicious purple. Yeah, your hair's going to be clear practically. Yeah. Turn toning very, very quickly. But I mean that's not shocking. Honestly, I might need to just watch it because it's turning really quick. Here's his hair right now. It's toning. And yeah. Oh, I'll give it a couple minutes more. It was like lemon yellow two minutes ago, and now it's like starting to get very, very ashy. So I finished editing, exporting my vlog right now. So I'm just hang in. Tyler was back here for a little bit. <laughs> he says he can't stop refreshing his email because he just wants to see the tax person write him back. The sun is starting to kind of go down. It's like golden hour right now. It's actually the best hour. Golden hour is, yeah, perfect. The sun is like right between. Wait, right. right here Perfect. Leonard is literally standing in there waiting for me um, but I'm about to go inside because there's a new episode of Love Island if you guys do not watch Love Island UK it is quite literally one of the only trash TV like shows that I watch except for the Real Housewives which I'm so behind on that um, but there's a new episode and me and my sister like watch it together so it is about to be five o'clock and as soon as this video is done exporting I just need to create the thumbnail do the description and then schedule it for tomorrow because this is tomorrow's vlog And then I have two more days of vlog week um, We just got back from walking to a house We walked because it was right around the corner And I'm about to make dinner Indian style chicken curry with rice, bell pepper, onions, and cilantro. It is 620 calories and it'll take 35 minutes to cook. I am so excited about this because I have been wanting Indian food. Tyler's never had Indian food and he's been very like skeptical like a lot of people are. They don't know how they're going to feel. Listen, if you don't have a good flavor palette, just say that. Just say it. Because... What you are missing out on if you do not open up your taste buds to spice and flavor and seasoning. Like, I can't trust people that don't like curry. The second they say, I don't like curry, I'm like, mm, any curry. Thai curry, 
Penang curry, Masaman curry, Indian curry. And I feel like once Tyler eats this, he'll be open to trying an actual Indian restaurant. Um, there's one that's really, really good. If you want good Indian food in Orlando, it's called Mint, M-Y-N-T. It is so good. What have I gotten from there before? I've gotten their chicken biryani and I don't remember what the last thing was that I got when I went, but oh my God. And the naan, of course, because it's delicious. I think there's gonna be a lot of chopping that I have to do. I'm pretty sure, because I know that it's like vegetables and stuff like that. So I'm gonna cook. I'm gonna do kind of just like a speed through so you guys can see, and then I'm gonna get our reactions to it. Um, I've never like made Indian food, of course, because it's not my natural cuisine, but I'm gonna get Tyler's reaction. I'm gonna see how I feel about it, comparing it to authentic um, Indian food. So here we go. You guys, I just have to tell you, one of these little chopping things, I know they also have like the big bins that do it. I don't have one of those. I will probably definitely want to get one of those. This is called the Nutri Chopper. I don't know, Tyler randomly bought it. I think at like Bed Bath & Beyond. It is the best because you literally just throw whatever it is that you're chopping and smash it and it chops it into, like it dices it essentially. It is the best and it saves so much time because realistically who wants to be chopping forever. Okay, so just showing you guys what it's looking like so far. Here is the chicken. I still have a couple more steps until it's complete, but it's pretty much close to being done and it smells incredible. Here are the vegetables that I still have to mix into that and then there's some basmati rice over here that I still have to fluff, but Tyler came in and he was like, oh my God, it smells great. I know a lot of people don't like the smell of curry, but y'all are missing out, honestly, but I have a couple more steps that I need to do. Really just two, I have to combine a couple things. Um, and then top everything so I'm so excited to try this out I have my glasses moved up here because sometimes they give me like the top of my ears hurt so sometimes I just stick them in my hair record your first impression eating Indian and my opinion on 
if it tastes the same as good, similar, etc. I don't trust you because your flavor palette is trash. That's how I feel. So homeboy's got my stuff up now, so. Okay guys, we are. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't dig in too fast. I'm just mixing it up. Really. I know, I'm trying to like adjust it so that you can actually see us. Cause that is low. So this is essentially like an Indian boyogi sal. Like that's what this type of dish is. Move, go, go, go for it. It's good. It tastes like um, boyogi sal. No. Tastes like curry. It's good. I like it. Mm. I probably like this rather than the Thai curry just because it's not as sweet. Okay. Yeah, Thai Thai in general is sweeter. Thai food. You know me, I like my savory. Yeah. I like my sweet, but I like my savory. I don't like my food sweet. This is good. It Yeah. The flavors are very good. Yeah, I like this. That smells good, Lenny. And they use cinnamon in their curry. That's what it is. I thought it was like sugar, but they said mm -hmm. right. Cinnamon and um, the chicken, and they use a lot of yogurt. If you go to a Indian restaurant, their type of like dipping sauces, like if you get the bread, or like even pouring it over. There's a dish called chicken biryani or biryani in general, and it's a side of it's like a yogurt sauce. It almost looks like a cilantro lime sauce, but that's not the flavors that are in it. It's like a uh, mint and some, it's so good. I don't know how fast all this is gonna play out, but let's say it plays out tomorrow. I'm kind of busy tomorrow tattooing. If I could arrange it for you to go look at that house. You don't wanna come with me? It's not that I did not just say I'm gonna be busy tattooing all day. It's not that yes, I don't but do you, come you don't wanna you. do it together? But I don't wanna lose out. That house has actually only been on the market six days. So I don't want to lose out on the house. Like, I will take your word for it and feel like, yeah, this is good. And I'll go look at it another day. Yeah. A bold flavor for sure. It's so good though. Like it's just flavorful. Mm -hmm. What do you rate this on a number? Like seven. Okay. I was going to say like 7, 7.5. No, I don't. I know that's like uh, Turkish. It does it with the bread. But if there's some kind of bread situation. They do too. Huh? They do it yeah, too. Yeah, was, I was about to say, if there's some bread situation with this. Yeah. Yeah, they do uh, garlic naan or just naan in general. And you scoop it up with that instead of pork. Like all this tastes like is very seasoned, flavorful food. Yeah, the, I think like what people are afraid of is they're like thinking there's going to be an ingredient in there that they're not used to tasting. But it's like, it's rice, there's chicken, mm -hmm. there's cinnamon, there's peppers and shit. Like, you know yeah. what all that tastes like. Like, in almost every culture, there's a variation of rice and chicken. It's just with their flavors, with their seasonings and all that. You can never go wrong with a curry, mm -hmm. with... I need that shit because it's just, mm. and I've been, I've been wanting Indian food for a while. Yeah, that was delicious and satisfying. Like I'm full, I feel good, healthy, veggies, chicken, curry, a sauce, Do you rice. Want Daddy Deluxe? Do you want our Papa Special? A papa special. You hungry? You hungry, Wellies? Are you hungry, Wellies? 
Sure, thank you so much. All right, let's go get some food. So we are done for the day. So I am going to clean up the kitchen, clean up all my leftovers, all that stuff. Wash my face, get comfortable. I mean, I already am comfortable. I'm, I'm in my pajamas. Um, have a little treat for dessert and yeah, that's it.